Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera Inked Ghost TikTok user Nolan Brock is a tattoo artist who has a TikTok page dedicated to showcasing some of his work. Well, one night after coming home from a long day of work, he ended up falling asleep on the couch, only to later be woken up by something absolutely terrifying. Take a look. Nolan is woken up to the sounds of the door clicking and moving, all on its own. But just as he turns his head to look towards the door, it suddenly stops. However, a little later on he falls asleep again, and the same door aggressively slams shut on its own, instantly waking him up. Frightened and clueless, Nolan just stands there scratching his head in disbelief of what just happened. He says that this was the most scared he has ever been in his life, and doesn't know what may have caused this creepy activity inside his home. Before we dive any deeper into the depths, we've got a birthday to celebrate. Raid Shadow Legends is officially having its fourth birthday. If you aren't already familiar with Raid Shadow Legends, Raid is a top free to play RPG game with over 80 million players across the world. There's over 650 unique champions to collect, with all sorts of upgrades and customization options available for each one, and with new updates every single month, who wouldn't want to join in on the fun? And if that's not enough for you, let me spell out why you should jump on Raid Shadow Legends. R for referral program. This means that every time you get friends and family to play raid, every single one of you can get some insanely good rewards to help you progress through the game making it much more fun for all of you. A for arena. The arena allows you to test your strength and strategies by tactically putting together a team of champions to fight other online players in PvP, allowing you to see who has the better team. I for impressive. Everything ranging from the graphics to the amount of customization and the combat system really allows for endless possibilities, so you may never know what the outcome of a battle will be, making the game prove to be a fun challenge. Lastly, D for Doom Tower. Climb the tower with over 120 stages while defeating powerful bosses and earning insane rewards along the way. But that's not all, Raid's 4th anniversary is finally here, and there's a ton to get excited about. Dedicated offers, free gifts, promo codes, events, and a brand new fusion event where you guys can get your hand on an anniversary themed legendary champion. You'll also be able to take a trip down memory lane with a recap video of your stats in Raid. Also, we have two bonuses just for you. The first bonus is available for new players only, all you have to do is download Raid using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and you'll receive an epic champion, Kellen the Shrike, and some other useful items. And since it's Raid's birthday, all new and existing players can get a bunch of free gifts once you're in game after clicking on the link. Just enter promo code 4 years Raid to get your hands on 4 legendary skill tomes plus some other great stuff there really couldn't be a better time to start playing, so download Raid Shadow Legends now. The Mistake A man named Jay runs a TikTok page where he posts all kind of stuff, but nothing ever related to the paranormal. That is, until he decided to try out the Ouija board, which didn't end very well because he says ever since that day, Whenever he is home alone inside the house, he hears strange noises and now regrets inviting demons into his home. On one day, while playing Rocket League, he hears something creepy 
and decides to record. This is what he captured. Alright, so I'm sitting here playing Rocket League at the moment. Every time I'm here by myself, I swear this place is haunted. I've been fucking around with Ouija boards and I was stupid enough to bloody invite demons to possess me and shit because I didn't believe in it. But ever since then, every time I'm here by myself, I hear shit outside. So I'm playing Rocket League. It's fucking... Oh, did you hear that? <gasps> oh, what the fuck? No fucking way. No fucking way. Hello? Is anybody here? Holy shit, why is that fucking moving? Hello? Is anybody here? Oh my god, man. What the fuck? No fucking shit. Hello? I heard you. No. No fucking way. No fucking way. Oh my god. Hello? And I swear I just saw a fucking shadow moving here. This is this fucking light switch. Oh man, I'm absolutely fucking shitting myself. No. That can't be. Fuck off. Holy fucking shit. Nah, fuck this. I'm. Oh no. Nah, fuck this. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Fuck this fucking sh A creepy noise can be heard coming from outside the room. It's fucking. And shortly after. He just up and leaves the place after seeing objects moving around on their own. Ever since then he hasn't been staying inside his house. But about four days later he arrived home and noticed something creepy. Hello everyone. Um, I've been getting lots of people asking me for an update on the ghost stuff. But to be honest I haven't really been home much since Friday night since all that went down. But, um, I've just kind of gotten home and turned my telly on and stuff and leant over here and noticed something on my cabinet thing. And, yeah, all right, you're probably going to give me shit about how dusty it is, but whatever. I don't dust. But what the hell is that? It looks like a handprint or something. Oh, check it out. Wait. Right. Looks like you got one, two, three, four, five fingers and a thumb. And the thumb print's way bigger than... I didn't even notice it had five fingers, that's weird. Oh, well. <clears throat> I don't even know if I want to know <laughs> what that is to be honest, but there's the best update I can give you for now. Jay comes home to find a disturbing handprint with five fingers and a thumb inside his house. Many viewers have suggested that he get some security cameras set up to monitor the whole house and see if it captures whatever may have left that handprint. But whatever the case, it seems like this is just the beginning of what's to come. So you can check out Jay's page over on TikTok for more updates. The Haunted TikTok user Tristan has been featured once before on the channel. Tristan has been dealing with some terrifying paranormal activity inside his home for a while now. 
including doors opening by themselves, blinds crashing down on their own, and much more. He says the activity is getting stronger and stronger with each passing day, but he hopes it will die down soon. On one night he is alone with his cat when he hears something chilling and goes to check it out. Something rattles the door violently, but when he opens it to check inside, there's no one there. A few weeks later, something similar happens again. After capturing nothing twice, Tristan decided to set up some security cameras around the house in different angles to see if they capture anything. As you can probably guess, it didn't take very long for them to capture some activity. Now, the second camera pointing towards the kitchen recorded something even worse. A dark silhouette can be seen moving across the walls of the house, just barely being detected by the camera. Shortly after seeing this, they had a professional come over to the house, and eventually the activity calmed down for a few days. But the peace was short-lived as the activity quickly grew more intense than before, leaving the camera to capture this. Now I'm not sure if you saw it, but just before the basket falls out of the shelf, what looks like a silhouette of a figure can be seen before quickly moving out of view. Tristan then decided to take a break from the house and go on holiday, but after returning, nothing had changed.
What do you think is at work here? Could this be a real ghost caught on camera? Or just a simple ruse? You judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depths of despair business at gmail.com. The empty apartment. The next video comes from the Reddit user Puzzle Headed Snow 23. The footage takes place in Krugersdorp, South Africa, where an individual was taking a look through an empty apartment while filming as he does so. But it seems this apartment may not be as empty as they initially thought, because as he goes inside, he captures something unexpected. Watch closely. the garage And here's the master bedroom. When the cameraman pans the camera around to the kitchen, the ghostly figure of a woman can be seen traversing the dark doorway at the back. A little later on, Another figure can be seen rising from the kitchen top before vanishing out of frame and it seems both sightings went unnoticed at the time. Perhaps the previous residents lost their lives inside the place or is something else at work here? Let me know. Exploring Gone Wrong For the next video, I'm not sure of the original source and not much context is provided, except for the fact that a man is exploring an abandoned building when things take a turn towards a nightmare.
What is that? something very disturbing on the floor, with a foul smell lingering in the area, but he isn't sure what it is. He then decides to proceed with the exploration, and after heading upstairs, things become truly horrifying. Is there anybody up here? a bag full of fresh stuff and hears some other people approaching the stairs and quickly hides and waits it out. This must have been a truly terrifying moment. You can hear the fear in his breath and we all know that humans are much more scary than any ghosts. Had he been seen that could have spelled the end for him but of course there is still a possibility that they were with him and it's all a setup. But just what do you think? As always, 
the final judgment is yours to make. That's all for today guys, but if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. See you next time guys.